Well, UNC Chapel Hill now mandating the COVID vaccine for all employees. Yeah, CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco was on campus tonight with how many employees this is going to impact. 88% of employees here at UNC say they're already vaccinated and those that aren't will now have until December 8th to prove it. The new vaccine mandate includes UNC employees who are full time, part time, temporary, working remote, PhD scholars and graduate assistants like Abby Newell. A lot of instructors have wanted the vaccine mandate for a long time. UNC says it's just following guidance from President Biden's executive order that requires employees of federal contractors to be vaccinated because the university receives $160 million in federal contract funding. It falls under that category. I suspect there will be some pushback from instructors in particular. Um, but like all rules, there are exceptions for groups that need it, for groups that are concerned about it, for their health or their religion. UNC's old policy relied on good faith, allowing employees to say they're vaccinated without showing proof. But now they'll have to upload their CDC vaccine card. I know that like autonomy is a huge thing um, over the bodies, but if it's protecting a large group of people, I think it's good. The deadline to be fully vaccinated is soon. Those who want the Moderna shot will have to get their first dose by this Wednesday, Pfizer by November 3rd, and the Johnson & Johnson by November 24th. I think for most of us, we're really excited about this, and it will make it easier for us to continue having in-person classes without interruption as time goes forward. UNC says only the State Commission on Public Health has the authority to mandate vaccines for students. And while the COVID vaccine is still optional for students, 93% have attested to being vaccinated, and those that aren't have to get tested weekly. In Chapel Hill, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News. Mackenzie, thank you. Now